All right, here with another video. My brake warning indicator lamp turns on whenever I stop hard or take off quickly. So, I suspect two things. The parking brake switch or the fluid level sender switch. I've checked the whole brake system. There's no leaks. There's no problems with that. The fluid level's fine. It's been the same. That looks too low because I'm on a hill, so you can't really go by it right now. But the fluid level has been the same. The switch is actually inside the reservoir for the master cylinder for the level sensor. And the other switch is on the pedal for the parking brake. Now, I'll turn my light on for a second because you won't be able to see. Here's the pedal. And there's the switch. There's the wire going to it. And that's attached to the bracket for the pedal. There's one wire going to it that supplies it power. It's case grounded. So I'm thinking that this switch might be wiggling or moving around or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you what the problem is. And then afterwards, I'm actually going to disconnect the wire and try doing hard stops and quick takeoffs again. Might be better if I do it at night. It'll be easier to see the light go on. But if the light doesn't go on, then I know that it's this switch. So there we are. I have the parking brake on right now. So there's our warning lamp. Uh, release the parking brake. Lamp goes out. And... Now I'm just going to drive up the hill a little ways first. All right. Let's see if this works. It doesn't always happen. But I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to do a hard takeoff. It didn't work. All right, I'm going to try a hard stop at the bottom of this hill. Of this hill. Let's see if it works. Hard stop, hard stop. There you go. There we go. You saw it go on. Hard stop and then the take off, it goes on. So that's the issue that I have right now. All right. Power wire has been disconnected. Let's test it. All right. So here we go for the next test. I'm going to go down that hill again. If you're wondering how it went from day to night, I went to school, then continued my diagnostics afterwards because I didn't have time. Now, that it's dark, it'll actually make it easier to see the brake light go on in case it doesn't stay on very long. Especially on the camera phone, it'll be a lot easier to pick up. I'm heading down the hill now. Our break. There we go, it's on. So, that eliminates the parking brake switch moving around. Now that I know it's not that, I can move on to looking at the level sensing switch, which at this point it's pretty safe to assume that it's bad, but I'm not going to assume anything yet. Well, I was going to try and unhook the switch in the master cylinder reservoir, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. I got to 
pull something underneath the clip or something to release it, but I can't see. It's too dark, so I'll wait till the daylight to do it. And I'll do more hard stuff with that switch disconnected, which it sh the red light should not go on this time. There is also the possibility that there's a lot of crap in the connectors, and it might be just be moving around and conducting it right to ground. I don't know. Take a look at it when it's light out.